You can't have a stable equilibrium with a static magnetic field. But an interesting thing happens when you take a magnet on its end and spin it really fast, around 10,000 RPM. A second magnet will actually be attracted to it, but then as it gets closer, it's repelled. So the result is a magnetic trap that levitates it in the air. It can capture it and hold on to the magnets, creating a magnetic potential well. Notice this attraction when it's further away, but then as I try to push it closer, there's a resistance here. It goes to higher than the weight of the ball. So the south pole of this magnet is jutting out a little bit more. Once it's attached, in order to stay attracted to the floating magnet, it has to be able to vibrate. If you stop it from vibrating, it gets ejected. So if the driving magnet were not spinning, the floating magnet would just orient itself parallel to the magnetic field and get sucked in. But if you rotate the magnet fast enough, by the time it starts to move to where it was going, you've already swapped the poles. So it begins to chase the wrong pole. So it follows the field by a 180 degree phase shift called phase lag, resulting in an anti-parallel alignment. This isn't possible if the field were static. This effect can be seen by anyone if you have a Dremel or a drill that spins fast and some magnets that you can attach to it like I did in a previous video here. But be careful, since these are moving at high RPMs, if you don't get it right, the magnets can fly off at high speed. Whoa. So this is a really neat phenomenon that needs to be explored more. It could have some important roles to play in the description of atoms and subatomic particles since they all have magnetic moments as well. What's crazy about this is this phenomenon isn't found in textbooks anywhere because it's so new and it's not widely known. 